fellow managers and leaders, and welcome to another episode of The Weekly Dose, where we talk all things management and leadership. So one of the topics we've been wanting to talk about for a while is time management, because it's an essential skill for anyone who manages a team. In fact, studies show that spending 10 to 12 minutes planning your day can save you up to two hours of wasted time and effort. Isn't that amazing? So in today's video, I want to share with you three very simple time management strategies that you can put into practice starting today. And if you want to read other five tips for better time management, you can check out the link we'll post below. Okay, so let's begin. The first time management strategy we recommend is scheduling some time on your calendar to think about your weekly priorities. This could be every Monday morning where you spend 20 to 30 minutes thinking about your goals and priorities for the week ahead. One pro tip that I recommend is sharing this list of priorities with your manager, whether it is during your one-on-one -on -one meeting or maybe a daily stand-up, if you have some, we do that at Fellow. Uh, and sharing this list of priorities with your manager will, will help you understand if you're aligned on team goals and priorities overall. This is a great time management strategy to make sure you're working on the right things. The second time management strategy I highly recommend is time blocking or creating events in your calendar for every task that you have on your to-do list. This will help you understand if the amount of tasks on your list is actually realistic and will also help you allocate time for everything you said you would do. Personally, time blocking helps me visualize my week and give priority to the most important things in my to-do list by blocking specific times in my calendar to perform those tasks. Last but not least, the third time management technique I want to share with you today is called the Pomodoro technique. So basically, when you follow the Pomodoro method for time management, what you do is break your work in 25 minute uh, blocks. And then every 25 minutes, you take a five minute break. But then after completing four of those 25 minute blocks, you can take a longer break, like a 30 or 20 minute break. So what the Pomodoro technique helps with is concentration and making sure that you spend long periods of time doing deep work versus getting distracted and multitasking on many different things. Okay, so here's a recap of the three best practices that we covered. First, setting weekly priorities. Second, time blocking your schedule. And third, using the Pomodoro technique to manage your time more efficiently. I'd love to know if you try any of these three time management techniques and if you have any other tips and best practices for being more productive at work. Finally, if you love productivity and learning new things, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow Fellow on all our social media channels. See you next week for another weekly dose.